Okay, so we're here honing cylinders on this small block Chevrolet. And I uh, want to explain something about this uh, load meter. What it's doing is uh, the needle is uh, simulating or indicating um, the load at different points in the cylinder. And when you have this needle here heavily sweeping back and forth, what it's indicating is that the cylinder as the head of it with the stones is going up and down in the cylinder it's seeing resistance heavier resistance the more it sweeps the heavier resistance in certain spots as opposed to other spots with light resistance what you're trying to achieve as the cylinder bore gets nice and straight uh, and concentric and when we're looking at figures down into the tenths or plus or minus a tenth or two, um, we're gonna see this needle basically staying in a short period of sweep. And that's what we're looking to achieve. We're looking to have the cylinder nice and round. It holds a ring package in very well. And we're, look at, we're looking for it to sweep in a short area right there and keeping the load nice and consistent. That means that the stones are seeing equal amount of friction up and down the cylinder board. That's one indication that you know your cylinder is nice and true and round. Now, whether it's the size or not is a different story. That's something that is checked with a dial board gauge and all of our dial board gauge here at Olds Performance and Machine. Um, they'll indicate or they'll run or measure within tenths of a thou. Typically, after we're done with this process of honing, um, our cylinders are pretty much uh, dead on zero, uh, point zero, 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 or plus or minus point zero, zero, um, zero, one, or zero, 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 two. That would be anything from uh, zero tenths to two tenths of a thousandth of an inch. And uh, we like to see that. It's, it, when you know what you're doing, it's not too complicated to get it to that. Many would say, oh my God, that's really ridiculous to try and keep a cylinder within one-tenth or two-tenths of a thou. Um, it's not. When you know what you're doing and you know how to fix certain areas with dwelling the machine in a certain area or setting up the height of the block in a certain given area, then you could achieve those figures that I'm talking about without issue. So anyway, appreciate you watching. This is Olds Performance and Machine. Check us out on Facebook. Like and share. Tell your friends. Um, a lot of uh, good information here. Okay, take care.